Removing the skull, or skull stripping, is an early step in Recon All. This ensures that FreeSurfer does not misidentify the skull or the Dura Mater as Cortex. However, sometimes the skull stripping is too aggressive and begins to remove Cortex, or not enough skull is removed. These extreme cases can usually be fixed by changing the watershed threshold in Recon All, which identifies the boundary between the skull and the cortex. Lower values for the WS Thresh option in Recon All will remove more skull, while higher values remove less skull. However, when the skull has been mostly removed, but excessive dura remains, a better option is to use the G-cut option. Here we see that the peel surface latches onto the dura for several slices. First, make a backup copy of your subject directory. Then, type the following command. It should take about a minute. You can overlay the resulting file, brainmask.gcuts.mgz, on the T1 image and the peel surface to see where the dura was removed. If you believe this fixed your problem, then run the following command. This runs all of the steps after skull stripping with the newly stripped brain. In this case, however, we can see that although some dura was removed, it wasn't in the areas that were affecting the peel surface estimation. You could try more aggressive skull stripping parameters, but this may cause more problems than it solves. In this case, I recommend a peel surface edit in which we manually remove voxels. First, Make sure that brain mask is highlighted, so that our edits will only apply to that image. Then click this button, which enables voxel editing. Holding shift and left clicking removes voxels, and you can undo the last edit by pressing command and Z. First, note the slice where the problem begins and where it ends. In this case, I've chosen slices 92 to 106 to bookend my edits. Erase those voxels which seem to be part of the dura. Again, be conservative and take care not to erase cortex. Once you're done, click on File, Save Volume. Then you can run Recon All starting at the peel reconstruction stage. Once this finishes, check the peel surfaces before and after to make sure it did a good job. In the next video, will cover another common editing procedure, adding control points to fix intensity normalization errors.